here. We'll be taking a short break now uh, in the sense to uh, give a little bit of uh, uh, relief to uh, the musicians. But we have a small uh, interesting interlude uh, at the moment. Um, some days ago, um, Geeta Vishwanath, uh, a good friend, uh, an artist, um, just suggested to me that uh, she would like to make a painting uh, for me. And uh, we thought this is uh, the best occasion to unveil uh, that painting. Um, so we have this short event where uh, Lakshman Ele, uh, I don't think uh, he needs any introduction uh, to this uh, group of uh, people. Lakshman Ele is a noted uh, artist uh, of Telangana. Uh, among many uh, uh, things to his credit, he is also someone who has designed the logo of uh, Telangana. Uh, and more than anything else, our uh, special fondness uh, for him is because uh, he is our own. He belongs uh, to the Department of uh, Film Studies. Or, uh, he did his PhD with us. Um, so we have invited uh, Lakshman Ele uh, to unveil Geeta Vishwanath's uh, painting. Uh, I request both Geeta and uh, uh, Lakshman to please come up on stage. A short introduction to Geeta. Geeta Vishwanath is a writer. Her first novel, Twice It Happened, was published in 2019. Her forthcoming novel is called A Journey Gone Wrong. She calls herself a greenhorn uh, in painting, having begun just four years ago. Uh, she uh, says she's still experimenting with the medium. Being in Baroda, known for its world-renowned artists, she feels inspired by art that is an integral part of uh, the city. Uh, I now request uh, Lakshman Ele to unveil uh, the painting. Um, yeah, please. Uh, Lakshman want to say a couple of words on this occasion? Firstly, I would like to uh, thank uh, Nikla Ma'am for uh, uh, having me here this evening uh, for uh, unveiling this painting, beautiful painting. Gita Ma'am, um, beautiful composition. We have our uh, historians and architects, they will analyze. And uh, Madam also say a few words about uh, our uh, thinking process about a uh, painting also. Um, thank you, Ma'am. Thanks for inviting me here. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lakshman, uh, for uh, uh, unveiling the painting. I now invite Nirmala Biluka, again one of our own, uh, to please come up and uh, say a few words uh, about the painting on the occasion. Okay. Uh, good evening all. Thank you Nikla ma'am for always remembering us and calling for this annual event every year. Uh, I'm really happy uh, to be viewing this painting made by Gita Vishwanath ma'am. But I don't think I'm the right person to talk about it because <laughs> she uh, she's herself an accomplished scholar and writer. Uh, but uh, the first thought uh, when ma'am sent me the image, um, what I felt was uh, it reminded me of Bhupen Thakkar, uh, who many of us know that he has been a, uh, I mean, forerunner to the Baroda school. Uh, Baroda narrative, uh, figurative art, and uh, I don't know, somehow uh, the colors and the naive expression uh, reminded me of Bhupan sir, uh, <laughs> of whom I'm a big fan, and uh, also another similarity or the uh, relation is that uh, he was also a short story writer and poet, so uh, I find that there's a lot of correlation happening, and uh, 
uh, many, I don't know if you know that uh, he was one of the first Indian artists who, uh, who came out of the closet and uh, expressed himself as a homo, uh, homosexual artist. Um, so, apart from that, uh, I feel that uh, man has captured the uh, different expressions or I don't know, some kind of multiple identities we all um, embrace sometimes or I don't know whether uh, I think ma'am will be able to explain more <laughs> about it. Uh, but I really love the way she has used the colors and uh, also uh, talking about different people like uh, uh, ma'am and uh, Nikla ma'am have been doing this online programs uh, talking films. I felt that uh, it's like it's that kind of platform where we are conversing with each other and uh, discussing so uh, I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for the beautiful painting. Thank you, Nirmala. I now invite Anand uh, to come and speak about uh, the painting. Uh, Anand is again faculty like Nirmala in uh, JNAFAU. Yeah. Uh, Namaskar, Andari. Namaskar, Andari. So, good evening all. Uh, it's, uh, I'm very glad to meet you ma'am, uh, because I've seen you coming to the galleries and uh, we never encountered any kind of, you know, I mean, but uh, I've seen you working also. Uh, I was working with uh, Dite Prana, Sajjana Gallery, so you come over there. And uh, uh, I'm very close to Gita Asha, but uh, we never met uh, and also never talk about any kind of uh, you know, conversation regarding painting. Today, uh, uh, like Nirmala rightly said that uh, uh, naivety, she was talking about naivety. So, as a thinker, uh, she might be, you know, bringing a representation of uh, her thought because uh, art is uh, uh, a transformation of an identity, probably I can say a translation of your idea, right? So, uh, in that way, a representation does not represent itself. It represents something else. It will your color. So, in that way, uh, these are the, you know, the colorful images uh, which look like portraits of uh, known and unknown people. But I think uh, probably she is trying to uh, bring some, some kind of, uh, you know, coexistence and also the force of uh, being together and the problem within the you know, uh, you know, being together. So probably she is uh, trying to bring that aspect of uh, life where we always try to find our own space, but we, uh, you know, struggle to, you know, coexist and enjoy that coexistence. And uh, 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 it, it, it is ha always uh, hard to compare with anybody like uh, Bhutan Jatta. Probably I may not agree with people in that way. Uh, but uh, these are very symbolic, very expressionistic if I use art historical, you know, you know, terms. Uh, that's very beautifully done because uh, it is not easy to, you know, handle the colors if I use formalistic method to read. Uh, anybody can paint anything but uh, the volume of each figure, sometimes uh, masquerading faces, it's like, uh, uh, you know, partly it is uh, physiognomy, partly it is mask. Uh, and uh, she is, uh, you know, explicit, explicitly say the implicitness, right? So, uh, such kind of, uh, uh, you know, struggle with the interface between known and the is uh, beautifully drawn, uh, look at the expressions which uh, one of uh, uh, the mask-like faces or you can say, you know, uh, they are, uh, they are looking at each other, they are trying to converse but without any conversation. So, uh, instead of using only formalistic method, if I say semiotically, there are definitely some kind of representation uh, which, uh, which are talking about uh, the society in which we live in and experience. And uh, these are, uh, uh, you know, very subjective. If I, if I say, if I want to say about this space, that becomes very subjective. So, you know, that is very respectable, even subjective is very, very important. 
but uh, from the artistic point of view, through these colors, you shade love, and you you try to you know contribute to this place, beautiful place, and uh, bringing the identity of uh, women largely, and uh, you know your you know uh, trying to bring that aspect of you know uh, power or unity or confusion, right? So thank you, ma'am, uh, because. Uh, uh, I have uh, nothing to say about that painting, it's very subjective, very subjective. But I tried uh, my level best to, you know, exhibit that painting. Probably, if, I, if I'm wrong, please uh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Very big thank you to uh, Nikila for, um, you know, formalizing this whole thing by having uh, an unveiling. It's, uh, I'm absolutely overwhelmed because I'm really not, you know, um, an artist, an established artist or anything of that kind uh, to merit this kind of honor. So thank you, Nikila. And uh, thank you, uh, Lakshman Ele, for uh, unveiling it, Nirmala Anand, for saying nice things about it. Uh, it all began when I just felt like, you know, uh, making something for Nikila and I asked her, generally I paint uh, landscapes and try to do some portraits also. But when I asked uh, Nikila, she said, um, I would like you to paint faces. So uh, the first thing that came to my mind when she said that was uh, a line from one of my favorite uh, poems, uh, T.S. Eliot's uh, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock where he says, there will be time, there will be time to prepare a face, to meet the faces that you meet. And uh, even in my writing, and even personally, I'm always interested in uh, relationships, in communication, how we communicate with each other uh, in life, at the social level, and with ourselves as well. So, um, and uh, it's going to be in the home of Nikila and Tarkeshwar. Tarkeshwar is into uh, theatre and Nikila is into uh, cinema. Uh, so I uh, thought of doing something uh, stylized, as Anand said, in the expressionist mode. So um, in, in fact, it's the first time I'm uh, trying something like this. And I'm glad that uh, such nice things have been uh, spoken about. And as I was painting, I, um, you know, like, um, I also, um, certain things come to mind in the uh, course of uh, painting. And I just wrote a little poem uh, about faces. Uh, From birth to death, we see faces, we caress faces, we make faces, we mock faces, we put up faces, we hide faces. And then, in one swift sweep, we cover faces. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you, Lakshman, uh, Nirmala, and Anand.